Let me check a couple things and then I'm going to be on camera in a minute, I promise. Let's see here. What is this mess? Oh, wow. Pretty gross. Somebody's got a little bit of a mess here. Hang on. I know these guys have been having some bad poops. Not only their mom. Uh, good morning, everybody. I hope again. Uh, let, me, uh, let me check on that. Give me one sec here. Get myself caught up. I was at the post office this morning picking up the mail. It was unusually busy. And it didn't take too long for me to overhear uh, that tax day is coming up real quick in the United States. In fact, I think today's the last day to mail for a lot of people. Um, there were several people in line who were super concerned with having their postmarks be today. And that's when I realized that, well, tax day must be coming up pretty quick and I haven't done a thing about it. So I was just trying to get some of my stuff together before we started here without any success. Now, um, you don't have to worry about it too much because what we file every single year, we just file an extension and then we end up doing the actual filing much later. But there's still paperwork for that, which hasn't been done. So, so all right, that's why I'm just a tiny bit late this morning. Uh, I thought we would do it in here today. I'm still talking to you as though I know that you guys can hear me. Uh, hang on. There we go. Good. Okay, I see people saying they can't see me, so I guess that means they can hear me. There we go. Sound is okay. All right, good. Good, good, good. And let me double check where the cameras are pointed. I'm just going to leave that one camera pointed at them until they, until or unless they decide to get up. Uh, so what I was about to say is I thought it would be fun to do, hi, I thought it would be fun to do mailbag in here this morning since there's a very small mailbag and um, I think Cuddles needs to have her boundaries sort of pushed a little bit uh, and I thought moving a couple boxes around and opening some things and talking in here a little bit, uh, not even talking to her might just be helpful a little bit and plus it's fun we haven't done it and um i thought it would be that'd be cool now uh let me start by saying that i saw there were a couple things that came in that were specifically labeled as being for our april 20th kitten academy live stream anniversary and because they were labeled that way i put them aside for next week um, i think my math on that is right so uh, so those are things that I, I've pushed to next week, and so that makes today's mailbag even smaller. My, my guess is that even with that, there may be, maybe everything today is going to also be about that, but just wasn't labeled that way, so I didn't know. Um, but there we are. As for news this week, um, besides the fact, do your taxes if you're in the USA. Uh, um, let's see. Uh, news this week. Well, DJ's back home, and that's wonderful. Um, these guys, everybody's just making progress, really. I don't think there's any specific news. Oh, and then tomorrow, of course, uh, tomorrow's Friday's uh, adoption, which I think we're still planning on. Uh, I have to check to figure out what time that is. I don't know, um, but I will find out. So Friday's going tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I'm going to miss that little guy. He is... Uh, He's been like a shadow, um, you know, just all about hanging out all the time. And so uh, it'd be easy to miss him, but he's going to be a lot of fun for his adopter. I just know he's, he's always having a good time. So Friday tomorrow. Uh, otherwise, everybody's doing okay. Uh, just, just fine, really. <laughs> so, all right, let's, um, well, let's get rolling here, I guess. Hi, I know, I need to bother you a little bit more, okay? There we go, hi. There we go, that's a good girl. Oh, yeah, yeah, you like that chest rub a little bit, but I know it also makes you nervous. Yeah. That's okay. All right. 
Okay, well, let's see. What do we got for mail? I think there are some letters. There we go. An unusual number of letters. So again, probably about, um, probably a little bit about our anniversary. We'll see. This one has the instructions. Oh, it's from Sandy and CT. All right, perfect. A local. And uh, it says, okay to read on stream except for highlighted section. So let's see what I can do. Hi, buddy. This little guy, I came in this morning and, and this is hot chocolate. I say little guy, it's a little girl, I think. Um, and you're the one that's had the bad butt too. I should have just checked you first and kind of cleaned it up a little. Uh, I think the reason she's got a, a prob poopy butt is because she's just started eating solid food and nobody else in the class has yet. So that's not entirely unexpected really at this point. Okay, there we go. I got you. There you go. Just a little cleanup. That's hot chocolate. And uh, like I said, she's a big explorer. I was talking about this on the close-up yesterday. And uh, when I came in this morning, she jumped up and came running to see me. Very cute that way. Super advanced for a little tiny kid. And I think she's, she's a little more advanced than everybody else. I mean, somebody's got to get there first. And she's just the first. Everybody else will catch up real soon. Okay, where was I? Everything except the highlighted section. Let's see what that's all about. Oh, yep. Ooh, okay. Happy spring to all at Kitten Academy. It's been a while since I last wrote or sent any practical items for endowments. I'm a local lurker, a lifelong Connecticut resident who lives near Monroe. Well, that's very local. I stumbled upon Kitten Academy during the pandemic and have been watching since Port's Oranges. I try never to miss a mailbag, if not live at 10, then later that afternoon. I miss the frequency of Mr. A's close-ups and hope they will soon occur on a more regular basis. Please do not apologize for your rambles as I find them informative. It was during a ramble you mentioned one of the faculty was on Solencia. I remembered that and mentioned it to my cat's vet when I noticed my 15-year-old calico Darby had stopped jumping up on the furniture and became a floor dweller. She's now been on Silencia for six months and is like her younger self, playing with toys, getting the zoomies, and rarely using the pet stairs I bought. That's wonderful, by the way. That's Custard, who's on the Solencia. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's really changed uh, all kinds of things for him, too. Uh, the important thing is, though, what, what, I mean, for us, uh, what, what I was doing with him originally was just sort of keeping an eye on him. And when it seemed like he was starting to slow down a little bit, then I would take him in for another Solencia. But uh, it's definitely better to keep them on just a regular schedule. So, and uh, in fact, DJ was just telling me we need to get him in for his next injection of that. Uh, I was going to do the injections myself because I, I have no problem injecting custard. But the, uh, the warning label on that stuff is severe. Like it says, if you accidentally prick yourself with a needle while you're trying to inject him, you'll go into anaphylactic shock and die. So I thought that's more risk that the vet should take instead of me. <laughs> Uh, anyway, okay, you say, I work in corporate finance and I like the naming of Till and the Petty Cash class. It was a cute and clever theme. How does DJ select the mom cat names and, uh, sorry, how does DJ select the mom cat names and the class names? Uh, well, I don't actually know. Uh, there's a joke about the fact that she licks them and then that reveals their names, but that's just a joke. Um, she just likes to name kitties and she's got a lot of clever ideas, I suppose. Uh, not too much more to it than that. I think she's usually got a few ideas that are sort of in the back of her head. And then when kittens come in, especially when they're born, she kind of thinks, all right, which one of these, you know, ideas that I've wanted to do is best going to suit this class? Uh, for instance, I know um, Skye's family is something that she had in mind even before we got Skye. Um, but uh, I think she was just waiting for the right class to, to apply it to. So, uh, Cuddles was such an unexpected name for the new spicy mom cat. Yes, it was, but it turns out she is actually very cuddly. She's a little nervous about me doing so much talking, but that's exactly why we're doing this today. I'll try to get her used to a little bit more activity. Uh, Cuddles was unexpected yet for the new spicy mom cat. Of course, the newest faculty member, Teaspoon, has captured my heart along with Callie and Holiday. When Callie wags her tail, it reminds me of windshield wipers. I can see that. It's just, I don't know what it reminds me of, but it's so silly when Callie wags her tail. It's the cutest little thing. 
Uh, thank you for all, and that's a good chance for me, by the way, to uh, re remind everybody that Cal and Monday and Holly are still looking for their adopters. And I think, I think there's someone on our Discord who's maybe applied for one of them, and um, I don't want to make it sound like I'm discounting that application in any way. It's just uh, in my head, um, you know, nothing's official until I hear it from Dawes. So. Um, I'm going to keep asking until we hear. And besides, that's I, I think just for one of them, uh, not for the entire group. So, and I don't, I'm not off the top of my head sure which one. So, I would encourage anybody that's looking for any of those three wonderful kittens. And I'm going to call, um, uh, I'm going to call Cal also a kitten because she's very kitten-like in her behavior. Still, uh, loves to just play and run around. So much energy all the time. So, if you want to apply for those, uh, you know the place to do it. And where was I? I was saying uh, thank you for all you in the KA community do to provide these mom cats and their kittens with the best possible start in life and for finding them their forever homes. Attached is a photo of a cat condo I purchased for Darby. She will not use it <laughs> despite me moving it to various locations throughout our homes. I would like to give this to Kitten Academy where it can be used by students and faculty and best of all, no assembly required. Oh, that's so sweet. Well, thank you. Um, and you say then the part not for mailbag is uh, to contact you to drop it off. That's so funny. I DJ has parts of this same set. We don't have this cat tree, which looks perfect, by the way. I'm looking right here, though, at a matching uh, piece of, of uh, cat furniture right in front of me. So um, that looks really, really cute for kitties. I will definitely contact you. I'm glad you uh, left an email address. So uh, I'm actually going to put this letter in my pocket so that when I'm in there working on the computer trying to get all those taxes scanned, I can shoot you a quick email and maybe we can arrange that. Thank you very much, Sandy. I appreciate it. Um, okay. So next up. That's great. It's really cool to have people that are so local that are uh, interested. And in, uh, I hope you and Darby are doing very well. Okay, buddy, I'm going to have to wash this whole rug now because of your little leaky butt. What do you think of that? Yeah. Not exactly a hot move, chocolate. Oh, you got a leaky butt too. Everybody's got a little bit. I don't know if this is actually leaky or just dirty. That's okay. This is Cashmere, the boy. There we go, buddy. We got you. Okay, maybe I should take my shoe off so you can see my foot. It's not just like a strange thing you're sitting on. And you're sitting on your person instead. What do you think? There you go, you can sit right there, I don't mind. Okay. All right, uh, next up. How are you feeling, Cuddles, with all this noise? Changes in volume and excitement in your room. What do you think of that? Just gonna go to sleep. That's a good answer. This is a very cute envelope, by the way. It's got um, uh, paints, red on the front and blue on the back, and then it's got pictures, uh, drawings, paintings of little flowers and eggs and spring things in those colors. I'm guessing the card is going to be related. Oh, these are very cool. They're birdhouses, and they're beautiful. It's uh, sketches of birdhouses, including one that looks like a pencil with a little, um, I don't know, some sort of little finch sticking his head out of it. Very cute. Margeline. Is it Margeline? Marge? Marge. We're just going to say Marge. Uh, Bastin is the artist here. Very cute. Okay, uh, dear, oh, I hope everything's going well in your little corner of the world. Oh, thank you. Dear Mr. A, when was the last time you saw Mary Poppins? Uh, if I'm honest, I, I don't know if I've ever seen it all the way through. You know, it used to be like on TV and stuff when I was uh, young, and I, so I remember it, and I know all the songs, of course, uh, but I can't remember actually having watched it all the way through. I can definitely picture some scenes. Um... Goodness. Okay, let's see. A, a spoonful of sugar, yes, makes the medicine go down. Watched you trying to give Cuddles her meds, thought, where are the treats to get that taste out of her mouth? <laughs> uh, it, actually, that, that pill that I gave her was wrapped in um, the pill pocket stuff, which is a really good treat by itself. 
Um, but yeah, I probably I probably could have given her a little something extra on top of that. I've been hesitant to give her treats. I don't know if you remember when she was in my bathroom and I gave her, I was giving her all that food to try to make friends with her. Um, she had some extremely bad poops as a result of that. And I don't think giving her a little treat after her medicine would cause that. I'm sure it wouldn't, but I, that's, I'm sure that's in my brain why I'm hesitant to do it. Um, it's, I'm sure it was just overload because I'd given her so much that she had the really bad poop. Uh, also that and the fact that she has uh, tapeworms, which we did treat her for. That's got to be the medicine you're talking about. It's the only medicine I've given her is the treatment for tapeworms, which is a one and done. Um, I didn't think she would take it, but if you were watching that, then you saw it actually was very easy to give her medicine, much easier than some of the faculty. Maggie is much more difficult to give medicine to than, than Cuddles is. Um, Okay, glad to see you're doing so well. I've been watching more with two sets of kittens to watch. When will we introduce the moms through the, the pet door? Just viewing, of course. Well, so we did that a few days ago. I, I moved the stuff out of the way and they definitely looked at each other. Um, but that's the extent of it. Neither one seems too interested in, in pursuing that, which is good because, you know, they're not angry at each other. So that's nice. Uh, stray cats strut and take their meds. They're not so bad. <laughs> That's right. Uh, thank you very much. Well, you didn't sign um, your thing uh, here. So, and uh, I covered up your address already with tape. So I don't know who to say thank you to for this, but it's a beautiful card and wonderful sentiment. Thank you very much. And uh, I am excited. I honestly, there's a part of me that thinks that these two moms might be able to actually be friends and co-parent, uh, but we're gonna have to be so careful because I just, you know, this she can be very nervous, and uh, uh, I think that I, I would hate to see her sort of have that nervousness towards uh, Sky's uh, kittens in particular, or Sky herself to a lesser degree. Sky doesn't seem very bothered though. When Cal sees Sky through the door, she is angry in a way that I do not, I've never seen from Cal uh, with anybody else, even when she's kind of feisty about Holly. Um, she is, uh, she's the aggressor at, uh, at Cal's, I mean, at Sky's door. She did it this morning and she just, she gets like growly and really super angry at it. And uh, my point though, wasn't about Cal. It was about the fact that Sky completely unbothered. I mean, just, oblivious like she just doesn't oh dude, there's some noise out there whatever <laughs> so she's just so good natured they both are though cal's actually a very good natured kitty i don't know what it is about sky sets her off probably just done with kittens even some of her own uh so where was i here this looks like a very christmas card not only does it have uh this holly on it um it's also got a santa claus stamp on it interesting interesting let's see what it says Final letter. Oh no. What did I do? Or forget. Or uh, this can be read on stream. Oh, and uh, we've got another. See, it's two letters. I see. It's not final letter like, okay, I told you once, Mr. A. Uh, but uh, final letter. Does the other one say first draft? I see. Okay. Let's just see. Is this, are they the same? Well, they don't seem to have the same content. Uh, I'm going to read the second one first, and then we'll go back to the first one, and that way uh, we can see if there's anything that I should skip over. But it doesn't look that way at a glance. Dear Mr. A, this can be read on stream. Thank you so much. This is Diana. Thank you for that, too. That's cute. Uh, identifying yourself at the top so that people don't have to wait all the way to the signature to hear who this is from. So... This can be read on stream. This is Diana. I sent a Christmas card to you before. Not sure if you remember. I've been watching since Bella's, uh, Bell's Whistles. Oh, Bell's Whistles. Yeah, I, Bell was really cute. Um, I love what you do. I admire what you do and, I, and wish I was able to adopt one of the kittens. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, I am able to get one from a shelter close by. That's not unfortunate. That's fortunate. I wanted to send a letter sooner, but was not able. Uh, my cat that I got is a tabby like the new surprise mom that you got. I'm thrilled that she is spiced down a little more for you now. I like spiced down. That's a great phrase. Uh, now, 
Uh, now that her name is Cuddles and her kittens are getting settled in, I hope they are enjoying their stay. I do think they are. Hi, Jaden. Are you sitting right here next to me, tiny hot chocolate? Mm -hmm. You just love me so much, don't you? Uh, let's see. Uh, kittens, I hope they're enjoying this. I've been having fun. Uh, I've been having fun watching my cat uh, flannel alongside watching all the mom cats and kittens. Uh, again, thanks for all you do. Sincerely, Diana. Well, thank you, Diana. Oh, flannel's the name of the new tabby. I see. I, I was so confused there for some reason because I thought you'd already given your cat's name and it wasn't flannel, but you hadn't. I don't know what I was thinking. So flannel is also a great name for a tabby kitty. And uh, I think in, in my experience, like tabby cats and black cats have some just great, wonderful personalities. I know Cuddles is going to come around and I bet flannel is just a wonderful cat for you. Oh, 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 oh look at me flinch. Oh my goodness. That was shameful. That was a shameful flinch, wasn't it? I know. I came in here intentionally to push your boundaries today. Okay. All right. Uh, let's check your other letter now. This is uh, the first one, not the second one, I guess. It says, uh, uh, let's see, Dear Mr. A, okay, we got the same intro, and then you say, I saw on March 19th you got a surprise mom cat. Yes, the mom cat seems very protective. I'm hoping she can stay at Kitten Academy. I'm so glad that she did get to stay at Kitten Academy, by the way. Um, I was, I, I, at first I was sure she was not going to stay here, and I, was, I thought I was really pushing my luck by wanting her to stay long enough to wean her kittens so that we could keep the kittens here and send her to someone that specialized in feral cats, but she's not feral by a long shot. I don't think that anybody that deals with ferals would even consider her semi-feral. I think she's just a little spicy. Uh, so, where were we? Um, uh, let's see. We just have to be slow and patient with this cat. Yep. Uh, I know I'm going to have to go slow and patient myself when I get my cat on Thursday. Oh, you wrote before and after. That must have been so exciting. Uh, so, when you read this, I may have spent some time with my cat. I'm going to get one from a local shelter. Wishing all the cats and kittens a great weekend. May all of them be blessed to be ready for their forever home. Sincerely, Diana. Well, Diana, thank you so much for writing to us. And it's fun that you included both letters because uh, then we get a little bit of the story there. I hope you and Flannel are doing really well. That's a great name. And I always encourage uh, people to adopt from their local shelters. You know, if you fall in love with a Kitten Academy kitten, Great. You know, that's it's wonderful. It's why we do this. The only reason that we do the YouTube stuff in the first place is to find people to adopt these kittens. Um, so that is wonderful, but uh, it's just as wonderful to all, all cats and kittens need love, not just the ones that come here. Uh, so uh, going to your local shelter is, is fantastic. I also uh, greatly support sort of donating to your local shelter, you know. Uh, I think that's a wonderful thing as well. So uh, Diana, Flannel, uh, excellent work. Okay, uh, now we're on to, I believe, the package portion of today's show. And before I forget, I had, I don't know if I, uh, I don't know if what I put in my pocket is going to help any. I think Rhonda, this doesn't actually help. Uh, but I know there was a second thing that came from the same person. Must be this one. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Yes, Rhonda. Okay, so this is from Rhonda, and so is the package that I left out in the car. Um, and I left it in the car because uh, it was very heavy and dense, and I thought this is food or litter, and I opened it, and it was a sweet scoop, which is the sort of um, the clumping litter that we use that's made from wheat. Uh, that's the joke. Uh, sweet is spelled like wheat. Um, so uh, sweet scoop is the one that we use for kittens, little tiny kittens. In fact, there's, it's right, there's some right here in this tiny kitten litter box. Uh, we usually start them on that because kittens have a tendency to try to eat the litter when they're first learning how to litter box. And uh, clay, it's, it's not going to, you know, it's probably not going to cause any major problem if they eat a little bit of clay litter. Uh, the amount that they eat is not so major, but I, I hate taking, you know, the, the risk that they would get all clogged up or something. Uh, so 
instead of giving them the regular clay litter that we use, which is boxy cat, um, we use a litter made out of wheat that's probably, oh, presumably a little more edible if they decide to eat some. Uh, so uh, thank you so much for helping us stock up on that. Um, we, we actually do uh, tend to go through a fair amount of it when kittens are at right about this exact age, so the timing could not have been better. Uh, thank you very much for that, Rhonda. And you sent something else, too, so let's see what that is, and then we'll go on from there. I'm just going to take the first knife I see. What are you looking at? Hottie Chocolate? Hottie? I haven't figured out a good nickname for hot chocolate yet. Hottie doesn't sound right. Hot chocolate is way too many syllables. Eh, we'll figure it out. HC, I've seen some people saying, which is okay, but it's not, it doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, does it? Okay, well, anyway. Uh, hot chalk isn't bad, but it also doesn't really sound like anything. What is this? This is some sort of a tent or a tunnel or a pop up thing, I can tell that. Oh, it says cat tunnel bed. Well, that's sort of hedging bets, isn't it? It could still be either one. Let's find out. Oh, this purple is really pretty. I wonder if the bed, the bed tunnel is that same color. Let's find out. Okay, you got room in there, buddy? You going to be able to eat? Do you want me to mix up some food for you? Do you want me to move some other kitten for you? Well, how come you can't just push through? You're a big kid. Oh, I'm sorry. I just booped your mom on the nose. Okay. Oh, it's not at all. Well, maybe there's a little bit of purple in it. It is way more than just a tunnel, though. Oh, this is great. I don't think I've seen this before. I mean, I kind of have, but this is this solves such a problem that we've had. I guess maybe you know about that. Uh, first off, these look like they're spare um, or maybe just uninstalled at this point. Um, so looking at the parts, first off, this is a beautiful rainbow color. Oh, there we go, that you have picked. There we go. You can see it is lovely, sort of a pastel uh, color rainbow sort of effect. And it's got a pastel rainbow center. And as you saw, it is a half circle. Um, but there's two pieces and you put them together and it makes a full circle like a donut shaped cat bed. I just broke that elastic. So this is just going to have to go back in here. Um, that's wonderful. And the reason that we don't normally use those, even though we've had a, quite a few of them in the past, uh, they normally go straight to endowments, and the reason is that it's really hard to see into them and get them on the camera, um, and to a, a lesser degree, it's also difficult to see into them and know, you know, if there's a cat in there when you're looking for a cat, or if they've made a mess into it, it's hard to tell. Um, but this one has a mesh top, if you saw, and I think that's great. I've never seen one of these with a mesh top before. This, by the way, when you make it into a donut, this goes in the center, and that's what makes the bed. So uh, it's got little things that hook onto it, so it's got kind of a hammocky feel to it. Perfect. This is so perfect. Uh, I'm actually extremely excited to deploy this and see kittens in it. The mesh is so ideal. I... It says paw a boo on it if anybody else is looking for one like this. That is absolutely perfect. I've, again, I've never seen the donut style that has the mesh on it, and I've always wanted to have a donut style tunnel around here, but we don't usually get to do it because it's just impractical for what we're trying to accomplish. With the mesh, it's perfect. And I, I saw you pick the rainbow, and it should go in the rainbow room because of that. It would be really ideal in there. But we've been using the rainbow room as sort of a faculty holding area lately. I want to see kittens playing on this and sleeping on it. So I'll probably put it either downstairs or uh, wait a little bit until these kittens are a bit older and then give it to them. Uh, it's it's so cool. Thank you very much uh, for this. Um uh, Rhonda, that was Rhonda again, the same uh, as the, uh, oh, did, maybe I just see that now, that there was no note, but there's a note actually stuck, I just saw it stuck under the flap here. Thought this might be fun for the pink room, yes, the rainbow room is what I'm calling it, but it, or, no, pink room, you mean this one, right? Because I did say that DJ wanted this room to be entirely pink. This would be great for these kids too, as soon as they stop, you know, sort of being leaky poopy kids. 
Um, but that would be perfect. So I'm, I'm going to actually toss this right over there to deploy for them later. Oh, I got it right on top of the bear, which is over there uh, too right now. Uh, he got moved out of the way because, well, because he kept getting moved out of the way, really. Okie dokie. Uh, well, two more packages then. Like I said, it's going to be a brief one. Oh, this says eight-year anniversary post, and I didn't set it aside, but I'm going to now. But look how cute it is. It's got a whole bunch of really cute little kitties on the front saying hi and K.A. Rocks. Uh, I want to make sure I'm not showing you any addresses when I show this to you, except our own. Okay, there we go. How cute is that? Eight-year an eight anniversary. Can you believe that? I sure can't. That's next weekend, though. So we're going to set this one aside. That leaves just one more thing to open today. Um, I'm, I'm just going to set it aside. I was thinking about throwing it also. It's fun to throw things, but I'm not going to. Especially in here with this one who's not even paying attention to all the trouble I'm causing. I guess that's good. If she can settle down while I'm in here talking and throwing things and moving stuff around, uh, that's exactly what we want. That's why we're doing it in here today. So, last one. Uh, whatever's going on here, this is addressed to mailbag slash timey wimeys. And it's got these really cute cat silhouettes on it with an arrow to show you which side up. Also, the fact that it is a cat silhouette is clever because you're obviously going to put it that way. Um, you know, you don't even really need the arrow at that point, but um, very cool. And then on the front here, how did I not cover up your address? Uh, man, I want to show everybody this sticker, but I'm just going to have to hold my hand over your address somehow. Isn't that cute? It's a little kitty. Uh, it looks like plugging something into a laptop or perhaps unplugging something from a laptop. Okay. Uh, this is then from Tanya with a J, uh, which I know because somehow I completely failed to cover that up. Open at top. I really, uh, sometimes I need those directions. So. <laughs> okay. The note! Oh, this is so cute. Yes, of course it is. I should have expected this from you by now, Tanya. Um, these are beautiful. Oh, and you sent the good stuff? Oh my goodness. All right. This is so cute. The note. March 30th. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, please accept my apology for the very late shipment of endowments for Callie and the timey wimeys. Well, um, you're here in time for more than half of them, so that's not too bad. Uh, and I will uh, I will forward those things along. I do have other stuff I need to send to them uh, anyway, so eventually. I, I won't promise it'll be super soon, though. Um, not sure exactly what my problem's been, but I really struggled for weeks to get this together. Alas, well, boy, that's the most relatable thing I have ever heard. Uh, <laughs> so... Um, alas, some of the graduates have already left for their next adventure with their forever families. I hope it won't be too much of an inconvenience for you to forward these on to them. In the endowment gift bags for Callie and her kittens are the following. All right, so these are the gift bags. This one is made with love for Calendar with your beautiful little ribbons. And look, you got a rainbow ribbon on this one too. That's new. And your little uh, sparkly packed with love for Calendar tag. Um... Always a mystery to me how you can have these things that are printed so well like that. It's really pretty. And in the bag, as you are about to describe, we have a kitty cookie cutter, a pineapple plushie toy. Yep, I see that. A rechargeable ball. Those are very nice. Blue for boys, pink for girls, pom-pom balls, and an iridescent crinkle ball. Those are fantastic. This is so cute that you do this for every class. This is Holiday. This is, <coughs> excuse me, Gregorian. Friday. Monday. And Julian. And January. Yeah, that adds up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Lucky number seven. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say, you know, these kids, they get so many uh, endowments. I know they're all appreciated. Your stuff is so cute and wonderful. Um, uh, you know, it would be a shame for them to miss out on it, but I, I, I think not at the expense of your mental health. Um, you know, you shouldn't, shouldn't worry about it too much is what I'm trying to say. Uh, if you're late or if you don't make it for a class at all, I, I'm not going to hold that against you. You're under no obligation to do this. I think it's wonderful that you do. 
but uh, don't beat yourself up about it. Uh, let's see. You say, Utah is considered a desert state, though the Salt Lake Valley is surrounded by the... Oh, man. How, it's spelled O-Q-U-I-R-R-H, and I would pronounce it O-Q-U-I-R? O-Q-U-I-R? That's what I would say, but you included a guy that says you just say ochre. That's not what it looks like, but fine ochre. Uh, and Wasatch, uh, I think I probably would have gotten that, mountain ranges. Um, so ochre and Wasatch mountain ranges. We often get a lot of snow beginning around Thanksgiving, but this season we didn't get much until January. Ours seems like it was pretty late this year, too. Um, our snowfall benefits our own water supply, but does indirectly contribute to the overall water availability in the southwest. Last year, we had record snowpack, and this year we're above average. Utah is usually in drought or preparing for the next one, so water management is important. It's been wonderful to see our reservoirs rising to normal levels again. It's been many years. I love looking out the windows and seeing how far down the mountains the snow has come. I... I've never lived around mountains, um, and uh, it sounds so cool. I just, I love the look. You've, there's even a picture here of, of the mountains. Um, I love that look. Uh, it's so bizarre and alien to me, having grown up and lived, you know, 99% of my life in the Midwest where everything's flat, uh, to see something just, you know, the entire horizon is it comes up and there's this giant like thing you can see from everywhere it's it's just it's hard to even imagine um uh, and it never occurred to me that you could sort of watch things happening on the mountain like the snow how far down the mountain this the snow is coming i just that's the first time i've ever had that thought um with April upon us, we're finally seeing buds begin to form on the trees. Spring has sprung, and that brings a renewed excitement for the warmer weather to come. Leo loves that for sure, but he doesn't like the snow quite like I do. It's been exciting to see some newborn tinies at the Kitten Academy again. I was so captivated by what you were doing with Cuddles and her snugglers that when Skylight had her tinies two days later, I was taken by surprise. Uh, hey, so was I. I did not expect them to be a bit quite that soon after. I thought it would be more like a week. Um, a shout out to my mom, Norma, whose birthday was on March 20th and in between those two litters. I'm in love with the tabby faces of hot chocolate and mama cuddles. And Tiny Joyce has my heart too. Uh, yeah, me too. I, I don't, I try to never pick favorites, but with Joyce needing some extra attention and with hot chocolate being so attentive, uh, they definitely stand out a little. This whole, all eight of these kittens, though, have their own qualities that are super cute at this point. Um, the video short by Ruby Sunrise, titled She's Stronger Than She Looks, is the absolute best. Yeah, uh, Ruby Sunrise has done some fantastic videos on, on our cats and kittens here. I just, I highly recommend her work. I, I was calling her Ruby Moon, I think, is the name that she had used originally, but I think she's fully transitioned to uh, Ruby Sunrise, so uh, I should stick to that. Um, so, uh, yeah, those videos, uh, Ruby Sunrise videos, well worth looking for. Also, Busy Cat, I can recommend and have done, uh, and will, for that matter. Uh, all three of those now, I know, are linked from our own YouTube page, if you go check it out. Uh, watching Tiny Joyce push her larger sibling a good few inches was so stinking cute. She is strong. Thanks, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, for being so wonderful with the felines. We love you. Hugs from Utah, Tanya and Leo. Uh, AKA Tanya with a J. All right, Tanya with a J, thank you so much. I love the little images that you've included in here. And um, I, I enjoyed you talking about the, the water and the snowfall because I, I know I mentioned in passing at one point that um, water conservation uh, and, and the global concern with water conservation has been something that's always been uh, difficult for me to get a handle on because I've always sort of lived somewhere like our house right now in Connecticut where we have our own private well, a uh, private well. I mean, I know all the water comes from, you know, the same kind of source at some point, right? Um, but uh, we're not on municipal water. I don't think in my life I've ever been. No, maybe I was for a little bit like in high school. Uh, my mom was in a house that was in the town, in the city. So uh, must have been at that point. But 
generally I've always been on a private well and you know you use the water from the well and then it goes out um, also into a septic field it doesn't go into the sewer system or go somewhere else um, that's that's how we do it for most of sort of semi-rural suburban America <clears throat> outside of the, the cities and the towns um, as we as we tend to be so um, in those in those instances you know i sort of in my head i picture like we you know we bring some water in the house um you know we put it right back out of the house again uh almost exactly where we found it in the first place uh and obviously most of that water comes out a little bit less usable and a little more dirty but then the the process of putting it through the septic field and uh you know into the the ground is uh, sort of a natural filtering isn't it it's not like i'm a manufacturer that's putting out horrible chemicals and stuff it's all just stuff that would have been in nature one way or the other you know cat poop and the cats have got to poop somewhere um i guess that doesn't mostly get into the water though does it uh maybe a better example would be uh bathing stuff uh, or the human poop okay we don't need to go down that road my point being it's always been just kind of a uh, um, difficult for me to relate to on a, a like a deeper understanding level and uh, I think that's interesting to hear so uh, thank you so much and um, I am going to put these here to go downstairs with those endowments that was a I'm going to say because it is tax week mercifully brief uh, mailbag uh, and I better get back to trying to figure out how to get all that stuff to our tax person to file the extension. Oh. Okay, uh, so time for that. And sorry if I gave anybody else a panic attack just now realizing that they need to do theirs. <laughs> uh, but better that you get to it than not. Um, thanks again to everybody for everything. And uh, I'm going to get all this stuff out of here now. I got to spend an extra 45 minutes with my favorite little spicy cat today. We're really doing good on our relationship, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. All right. I really want to vacuum this whole room and, and wash the rug. I wonder if maybe I can get her and her family out of here for half an hour later. Maybe tomorrow. Be convenient to do that when DJ's around. Maybe not either. You know, she is spicy and I don't like to stress her any more than I have to. And it's not like they're living in squalor. I just would like it to be a little cleaner. I guess I could come in with a broom and do it manually. A bit of it anyway. We'll see. We'll get a plan together. But I have other priorities this morning. So <laughs> thanks again, everybody. I'm going to shut my mic off now. Get this stuff put away. Probably consider that the end of the mailbag for today. So uh, thanks again. That did not shut it off.